Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. In this video, let's talk about micro frontends. But first of all, let's see what is a micro frontend. So, a micro frontend is a web development pattern that breaks down a single application into smaller independent modules known as micro frontends. Each module can be developed, tested and deployed independently allowing different teams to work on specific features or functions within the application. It can be implemented using different frameworks and technologies and they communicate with each other through well-defined APIs. So it is similar to microservices but for the client side single page application in JavaScript. So this was great definition but let's understand using this different analogy. So we are inside a kitchen and someone has given a task to us to cook two different foods like I mean two different recipes and they are paneer, butter masala and let's say palak no yes palak pod correct so we have the task at hand to cook these two recipes paneer butter masala and palak corn so to initiate what we will do is we will have to let's say bring some onions some tomatoes we can say palak for this palak corn butter slash oil then we can say the masalas masalas what else water and such so we need to have these items or even more to cook these two recipes paneer butter masala okay i forgot the most important ingredient and it was paneer and what else corn correct so we need to have these items to cook these two recipes so what we will do is we will have to peel onions cut tomatoes grind the palak use oil for you know what masala water paneer and corn so these can be defined as micro recipes or we can say micro ingredients so let me wrap or let me have this an arrow here turn this like this and add a text here this will be micro in gradients like this so it doesn't matter that we're cooking these items it can span over it can be even more like we can say aludam or kashmiri aludam or anything any recipe fine so these are known as micro ingredients that we can use in these different kind of dishes like paneer butter masala palakorn anything so similar to that we have micro frontends so let's say that we visit this website called Flipkart or an application it is. So in the Flipkart, let me come over here. Say we are on Flipkart. Zoom this. Let me. So we are on Flipkart. And what we see here first is a header. So let me write this or first copy this. So we have a header. Then we have we can say a search bar in the header. But we will not consider this for now so we have a header at the top level then we have this categories categories then we have the next is this carousal let me add this here carousal i think spelling is correct okay how do i okay this we have a carousal then we have deals on smartphone which is a section i guess so i can say some section or some variable section that can change over time depending on our visit to the page some variable section then we have featured brands featured brands what else do we have like this is what we have if we see on flipkart so flipkart a web application is divided into different components like header categories carousal some variable section and feature brands so 
it is divided into these components and we can say these are or these can be known as micro front ends let me add an arrow here so each one of them is a section in itself so so we can reuse header categories carousal anything that we have on flipkart application anywhere in the entire application so on profile let's visit the profile we have this input element so let me come back to the flipkart home page so in the header let's now target the header flipkart has a header so why don't i give an arrow like this again so flipkart is having a header so it also contains different micro frontend components like the flipkart logo so let's write flipkart logo we have then we have a search bar what else do we have we have our cart section or we can say cart button and other things like this account button and become a seller now we can reuse these as well like flipkart logo search bar any input elements across the whole application so this also can be used as micro frontend components so on top level on the web page level we have flipkart which has header categories carousal some variable section and feature brands and on the first from micro frontend we have flipkart logo search bar and cart button that we can also use on the sub level what i mean is we can use flipkart logo in the profile page as well so how to go to profile let's say this so we can use flipkart logo on this page as well as well as the search bar that is known as a micro front end architecture that our flipkart page is built on it is implemented using this micro front end so this was the definition now let's talk about some advantages so the first one we can say as reusability which means on flipkart we have this search component and it can be reused anywhere in the entire web page like on profile page on cart page orders page anywhere similarly we can use carousel or flipkart logo or the cart button anywhere in the entire application so it's a great advantage to have reusability second one is known as team autonomy which means let's say that we are working on header and some other developer or team member is working on categories or carousel so it means when we merge our code we will not have any conflicts so that's also a great thing third one can be technology diversity which means the header can be developed using react categories can be developed using let's say vue.js or solid carousal we can make using next.js and so on which means we can develop our choice of micro front end in our favorite tool library or framework like react or angular or svelte anything the next one is continuous integration which means we can change something in header and deploy it independent of other components or micro front ends the last one is isolation which means changing one component or micro front end like header will not affect the other ones like categories or carousel similarly this will be in isolation and if we are changing the other ones like categories carousel or brands or logo anything this will not affect the header and this was micro front ends so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video